Good morning everyone, I hope that you're all well. My name is Hannah, if you're new, this is a studio vlog, which is essentially a fancy way of me being like, hey, I work from home, let me film what I do in a day. I was meant to get up and start filming this morning, then realized my camera had died. So what you've missed is, I packaged, I packaged all of these bad boys. All of the Yarn and Stitch Marker Clubs are packaged. Royal Mail has been called, hopefully they will come today to collect them because I have personal training tomorrow and Thursday, so. And then the, the plan was, depending how early I finish them, because it's only 25 past nine now, I finished them at nine. Um, I was going to die Advents, but it's raining, so. Nope. I'm going to continue making the mitten stitch markers that I need to make. I'm going to twist up my 12 Days of Stitchmas minis because they're going to go next week, hopefully, fingers crossed, all being well, and uh, yeah. Productive, trying to be productive. Had a very productive day yesterday, so I'm trying to keep riding that productive train. But, I don't know if you just heard the beep, the kettle is boiled, so uh, before we do anything else, let's go make a cup of tea. It's so dark today. I don't understand it. Sorry, I've just eaten a bit of leftover pizza for breakfast. Um, classy. I'm sorry. How old am I? Um, yeah, I, my tea making was interrupted by the postman. Lovely man. Dressed up in, um, like, St. George flags when England were playing. It was fun. Had a wig. It was hilarious. Very amusing. I've had an order returned to me, um, because it wasn't collected and customs wasn't paid for. That was a July stitch mark club, so that's fun. So I have emailed the customer and said, hey, what do you want me to do? But also, I've received my order from Castleview Yarns, the lovely Jen. Castleview Yarns turned two recently, last week, end of last week. And she brought out, you see, other people are very, are very much better at business than I am. But she brought out an anniversary colorway. And, um... I had to buy it. I had to. Here it is. Is there anything else in there? Nope. Uh, other people are better at packaging. People are just better at business than me. And then there's me that's just like struggle busting it along. I, I can't imagine wrapping every single skein. I can't imagine it. Thanks so much for your order, Hannah. Enjoy. Jen. Thanks, Jen. So she is castleviewyarns.com. And this is her website. She dyes up beautiful colourways. I've bought some mini minis from her before for my um, granny square blanket, which is somewhere. I'll probably need it over my lap today. I'm cold. A jumper's going to have to happen at some point. Um, but yeah. This has been sat next to some mohair, I can tell. But yes, I bought the sock set. After saying I'm not going to buy merino for socks anymore, I've bought a merino sock set, but I'm thinking of not using it for socks and maybe making like a um, magpie tendency or something out of it. My phone's in my way. Uh, magpie tendency or something out of it. But this is the colorway two. It's a sock set, 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon. You get 100 grams and 20 grams. And um, yeah. It's a really pretty colour. I saw it and I was like, you know what, I need to own that. This is not the best lighting for it, because like I say, it's very dark at the minute. If it brightens up, I'll try again, but it's raining, so I doubt it's going to. But yeah, super pretty. Super pretty. Well done, Jen. Congratulations on Cast View Yarns turning two. It's amazing. How's my business this year? Eight. That's mad. That's actually mad. I started it October 2013. That's actually, that is actually mad. 
so much time has passed. But yeah, it's a beautiful purpley colour and it's got some neon speckles in it and some blues and some, it's like confetti. And then you got this fun little doodad with it. I feel like my voice is going. So I went to a wedding on Saturday and had quite a lot of wine and, um, and Prosecco. And wasn't hung over on Sunday though, so win-win. Just very tired, needed a nap and tired yesterday. Went to bed at, was asleep by like 10 o'clock and slept till half past five. When did Mary's alarm go off? But I kept waking up through the night, it was really annoying. It felt like a really long night of sleep, but not in a nice way, in like, a, ugh, it's still night time. Um, which is weird, because I love sleep. Anyway, so I did a lot of singing. I'm gonna have to put a jumper on, I'm really cold. So I did a lot of singing on Saturday. The Mario was also on the Prosecco, then wine, then whiskey, also not hung over. Um, and he did a lot of dancing. Mario is the kind of person you want to take to a wedding with you because he, he barely left the dance floor. Bless him. Bless him. I love him. Um, but yeah, so cute. Yes, I love this. Look at you getting a little stash haul. Well, it's my birthday on Thursday. So you're watching this Wednesday. No, it's not. It's on Friday. It's on Friday this year. My birthday is on a Friday this year. Um, same day as Christmas Eve. My birthday isn't on Christmas Eve, but Christmas Eve is also on a Friday. My birthday is always the same day as Christmas Eve, and it's always the same day as my mum's birthday. Fun fact. Um, so I always know what day Christmas is, because I always know what day my birthday is on. Well, near enough. Near enough. I used to be much better. Now I'm terrible. But anyway, Friday. So this is a nice little treat to myself. Maybe I'll do a little Christmas cast on and... Oh, I wasn't going to nick socks out of it. All of my merino socks get holes in. So I was going to try to strictly stick to BFL and see where that took me. But we shall see how that goes. Oh, I stuck to my thing. Hopefully this customer responds to me. And if not, we shall see. I keep getting loads of ad offers for YouTube, which is lovely. Um, but they never... They never bother to look and see what my name is. This one says, hi content creator, or they say, hi the corner of craft. Like literally, if you're, look if you, if you're emailing me about Instagram, my name is in my bio, and I've started to put my, bio, uh, my name in my bio of my YouTube videos right next to my emails, because it's like, if you actually were interested in my stuff, and my name's on my website, if you were interested in my stuff, you'd know my name, but you're not. Although this person has said, hey, Hannah. All right, Megan, I'll let you off. But yeah. I had a bit of a meltdown about Instagram the other day, yesterday, a little bit. Well, other people, I keep comparing myself to other people, and I'm like, don't compare, don't compare, but that's really hard to do. Um, seem to be much more on their Instagram game than I am. I've, I feel like I've been really good and posting a lot, like every day. I've been posting every day and consistently and whatnot. And yet still, I post a picture of me and Mario and it got 700 and something likes. And it's like, yeah, that's really good. No hashtags or anything, not bad. But that's a lot of likes for me. And I like that the percentage of my followers, it doesn't match. So yeah, I need to, I'm, I average three, 250 to 350 likes on a post, which is really good if you have up to 5,000 followers, I would say, but I, I have 13,000 followers on Instagram. So my engagement, I should be getting over a thousand likes on a post, ish. You kind of want to aim for 10%, but it's awful. I don't know I don't know what to do about it. I don't know how to make it better. Maybe I'm not posting things that people want to see, or maybe my posts are getting suppressed. I don't know what it is, but I try really hard, and I try to engage with people that comment on it, and I try f f in vain. And I try, and it's all for naught. Ow, that mug's really annoying. Your hand, like, slides around the handle. Um, but yeah, right. Oh, I got my watch that I got for my birthday last year. I got it adjusted so now it fits and I can wear it. Huzzah! It's only taken a year. Um, yes, I'm going to beadweave some mittens. 
and you're going to listen to some fun royalty free music over the top. Or I'll chat, we'll see. I seem to be quite chatty today but I don't know how much my voice is going to stay with us. what happens I bead weave and I get a little snuggle buddy with me who's very cute but it then means <laughs> I have to adjust my bead weaving stance because you lay right where my elbows usually go and I don't want to put my elbows on her because that's not very comfortable so then I try and put my elbows over her but then she doesn't like that and every so often she tries to attack the thread it's all fun it's all fun and games isn't it and then the other one's over there on the sofa looking at me very sleepily I love them both very much and missed them both terribly this past weekend. I had to put my cattery because we went to a wedding and uh, they looked so scared when I left them that um, I cried for a solid 15 minutes in the car. Oh, poor Mario having to deal with my drama. 
I mean, if Crying Over Cats is my only drama, I think he's doing a pretty good, he's got a pretty good deal. Right, I'm going to keep bead weaving these mittens, or at least try to. But her and her sister got a little aggressive with their fighting yesterday, didn't you? You got a little scab on your ear. We got them home yesterday and let them out of their cat carriers and then they had almost non-stop zoomies from about four until about half past nine. It was quite intense, wasn't it, little bubkins? No wonder you're tired today. I could have missed this morning zoomies because uh, I was packaging up upstairs, so I could have missed them. But I came down just after nine, so usually you're still a little zoomy, but that you tucked yourselves out yesterday, having all the extra space to run around. Bless them. Anyway, I'm going to keep bead weaving and um, drinking my tea. So part of the fun of uh, running your business predominantly on social media is that you need to take time to write out Instagram posts. And so that is what I've done. I haven't posted it yet because I need to, oh baby, burp your poor ear. I need to look up um, when the most optimal time to post it for me is. So that means I need to go into my insights and have a look. But I like to write posts when I have something to write about, for example, my latest post is about um, kimchi, no, miso being on my lap and me bead weaving and blah, blah, blah. And because I can show what I'm bead weaving, it's more exciting. Um, yeah, so I've written that. I'm, I mean, I'm tempted to take a couple more pictures and make it a carousel because apparently that's meant to be better. So maybe I'll take ones of my bead mat, looking like the mess it is. Um, and then I just copy and paste, copy my, uh, original post across because I don't believe you can add images that you've already saved as a draft I don't know if that makes sense so um yeah I might do that thinking about it that might be better huh baby but maybe so quick little check-in for you it's like been two and a half hours she's I mean, I had to boot her off because the veg box man came, so I had to greet him and get the veg box because it's raining. Um, but she's still on my lap because I, cause I came back and then she jumped back onto my lap and fell straight back to sleep. So You're welcome, little bubkin. Um, yeah, I've been sat scrolling on my phone for God knows how long because um, I really want another tea or maybe some lunch. But I don't want to move my little bubkin. I'm going to have to, because I'm getting peckish. Um, but decided to be productive and film a few reels and get them lined up, ready to post. And, um, yeah. So I looked on my Instagram analytics. If you have a creator account, which I do, because you get more music choice, um, or a business account, they're annoying, you get less music choice. But you can check out your insights and see when your um, followers are online most. And for me, it's at about 6 p.m. So I need to post at about 6 p.m., um, which is fine. And now I've got a few things lined up, which is nice. Although I'm not going to do like a string of reels. Um, but yeah, I need to take some more photos of things, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, you might see a few reels of me wearing this, beading these because that's what I'm currently doing and I can't move anywhere because of this one bless her but I'm very appreciative because um, it's still cold but I can't go anywhere to put a jumper on but I don't need to because she's like my little lap warmer it's delightful why did we go for so long not having cats? we weren't allowed them in the old house that's one reason A little bit of cat ASMR for you. What a cutie. Alright, 
I'm gonna make myself another tea and some more and some lunch sorry and then I'll come back and make some more stitch markers because that is the only plan now for the day I got a new leaf on my rubber plant no nope, it's a bird of paradise I have a new leaf on my bird of paradise it's massive, it's glorious, I love it. I have literally been sat in this chair all day. I don't know why. Anyone would find my day, day in the life vlogs interesting because I've literally just sat here been bead weaving all day. Um, also, scrolling on Instagram quite a lot because I've become quite fixated on how poor my Instagram game is and I am trying to fix it. So I'm watching Skillshare class about um, how to grow your Instagram audience, which I find very interesting, and um, this is this this is not an ad for Skillshare, but I do have an ongoing Skillshare sponsorship. Check out my last podcast. Um, yeah, it's now quarter to four. Royal Mail still haven't shown up. Uh, they didn't turn up at all last time I booked in, and I need these to go today. So I booked in for them to collect up till three p.m. Um, because then if they didn't turn up, I could call and chase it. So I just called and chased it. And they said, oh, they're running a bit behind, so it might be around quarter past four. Like that's, I mean, that's fine, it's not a problem. I just really need these parcels to go today. Really need them to go today, because I'm out tomorrow. Not all day, but like a chunk of the day. Um, so it'd be nice if they went today. Also, I've already dispatched them, premature. Um, but I need them to go today. Hopefully Royal Mail turn up. If not, I'll call again at like five. Um, and just be annoying. I've got clinky nails. Clinky nails. My grandma has just sent a text to the family chat to say that she has a squirrel in the dining room. I need to message my sister. <laughs> but yes, um, that's all that's been happening. I've made three, I don't know if I've said this before, I made the post with kimchi on my lap and have that saved to post at about six o'clock. I posted a reel at about half past two just because I was getting annoyed so I just thought I'm just gonna post this. And then um, I have filmed and have in drafts two more reels, three more reels. Hey. Whoa, that's my reel. Uh, how do I find my draft reels? Here, drafts. Three, I have three draft reels. So you're gonna see quite a lot of me in this outfit. Cause that's what's happening. But yeah, that's all. That's all folks. Good news, Royal Mail update. They've been, it's 25 past four. Perfect. They've gone, whew, what a relief. Don't have to worry about it anymore. Bub date, bub update, bub date. Hey little bubkins, how you doing? Here they are, being the snuggle twins. Oh, kimchi does not like being on camera. Come on then. Come on. Come on. You don't like the camera at all, do you? She does not like the camera. It's got it's got this it's got a big old microphone on it. Let me see if I can show you it. It's attached to the top of my camera. Hang on. It's one of those big big fluffy ones. And she doesn't she doesn't like it one tiny bit. That's why she runs away from the camera or tries to attack it. So it is now about half past five, just gone. I have my dance workout class at six, so I need to go get ready for that. Take off this, take off these, and put on something more workout appropriate than knitwear. Um, and also take jewelry off. And yeah, rather productive day. So I'm gonna sign off because that's kind of the end of my work day, other than editing this. 
after the dance workout. So thanks so much for hanging out. I hope you had a lovely time. If you did, please feel free to subscribe. It would be lovely if you were to follow me on social media as well. Links can all be found in the description box below along with any other information that I think you might need. And leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you've been up to since we've last spoken last week, if you watched the last vlog. If not, tell me about yourself. Introduce yourself to me. I love it. Uh, let's get conversation going. Give the video a thumbs up if you think that you liked it, or thumbs down if you hated it. Both are welcome in this sphere. And uh, with all that being said, I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye. Ooh, the timer. <laughs>